Kaya na, Miss Bisu. Disabled pa rin po. Ah, disabled pa rin. Okay na po pala. Okay. Major issues in the evaluation of the medical legal findings. The introduction. So we're going to show you the table of contents and what our report is all about. So we have the introduction. What is the medical legal report? Contents in a medical legal report. Errors in a medical legal report. The major issues in the evaluation. Mitigation strategies and the conclusion. What is a medical legal report? These are reports written by medical professionals who have been chosen as an expert witness in a legal case when instructed by a client who has suffered from a personal injury, disease, or medical negligence. A medical legal report is required to assess the client's claim. Medical legal reports are required in a wide variety of legal situations, but most commonly they are used when providing evidence in court. Below are some events in which a medical legal report may be required. Criminal court cases, civil court cases, employment tribunal, family court cases, personal injury, insurance cases, and clinical negligence cases. What are the contents in a medical legal report? So here is an example of a medical legal certificate the patient's name and date of birth, requesting party's name, the date of the request, and the purpose of the report. Your credentials, including the professional address, qualifications, experience, and position at the time you were involved in the patient's management. Um, the medical legal, medical legal facts, um, this is what you should have in chronological order. The presentations of the history and the symptoms, examination findings, investigations, provisional diagnoses, treatment and management, and the current condition. You need the response to questions, your opinion, signature, and the date of the report. Good day. I am Therese Margaret B. Marania, and now we'll focus on the errors on medical legal reports and how these errors may compromise the integrity of these documents. So, the first of our errors is documentation errors. We all know that documentation is the backbone of any medical legal report, and errors in this aspect can have far-reaching consequences. Common documentation errors include inaccuracies in patient details, dates, and procedural steps. These errors not only hinder the report's reliability, but may also lead to legal challenges. Addressing these issues requires meticulous attention to detail and adherence to standardized protocols. The next is chain of custody issues. Maintaining the chain of custody is paramount in preserving the integrity of biological samples and evidence. Any breaks or lapses in this chain can cast out on the reliability of the evidence presented in the report. Ensuring a seamless and well-documented chain of custody is essential for legal proceedings and contributes to the credibility of medical investigation. Third is, we have our incomplete information. Incompleteness in a medical legal report can obscure vital details, impacting the overall understanding of a case. Failing to document all relevant information, such as patient's history, examination findings, or incident details may lead to misunderstandings or mis-evaluations and weaken the report's effectiveness. Comprehensive documentation is key to presenting a thorough and accurate account. Our fourth error is in inaccurate information. Inaccuracy in a medical legal report can arise from misinterpretations, miscalculations, or oversight providing incorrect details about the patient, the incident, or medical, medical findings undermines the report's credibility. Emphasizing accuracy, recording, and interpreting information is crucial for maintaining the report's reliability and sending up to legal scrutiny. And last for our errors in the, in the medical legal report is consistency with literature. Medical literature serves as a foundation for understanding and interpreting cases. Discrepancies between a medical legal report and established medical literature 
may raise questions about the validity of medical facts, incorporating the latest research and ensuring consistency with existing literature strengthens the report's scientific foundation and enhances its standing in legal context. Moving forward, let's delve into the major issues that often arise during the evaluation of medical legal findings. These issues not only shape the credibility of the findings, but also impact the broader legal and ethical considerations associated with it. The first on our list is bias and objectivity. When looking at a medical or legal information or medical legal report, the biggest challenge there is is that the expert might have personal biases or bias, and it is important to look at the evidence without letting any personal opinions or pers or influences affect their judgment. And it is important to be neutral in this process at, as it is crucial to keeping the report honest and making sure that justice is truly served. Different biases, whether we realize them or not, can affect how we understand medical information. And things like money, professional connections, personal beliefs, can, can impact on how we evaluate the report. It is important to recognize and reduce these biases to ensure that the assessment is fair and impartial. Next is quality control and standardization. Um, for this part, we have to make sure that things are done the same way and are of good quality. Because if there are differences in how the tasks are carried out or if there are inconsistencies in the following rules, it can make the results or the findings less reliable. And to ensure that the evaluation process is trustworthy, it is essential to have strict rules and stick to the established procedures or protocols that was given to the medical legal expert. And when it comes to medical records, how well they are written and how consistent they are is super important in figuring out medical and legal information. If the records are not complete, accurate, or well documented, it can make it hard to understand what happened and judge if the medical care was appropriate. So we have to keep working on making sure that the medical documentation is consistent and follows a set standard. So for training and education. The skill and knowledge of the forensic professional or the medical legal really matters for a good medical legal evaluation. So to make sure they have the right skills, they have to have proper training and education. Because if they are not properly trained and educated, the evaluation of the medical legal findings could be inaccurate. And it is also important for them to keep learning about the new things in forensic science or forensic medicine through ongoing training programs because this helps them to become uh, aware in the evaluation process and as well as be informed with the latest and new discoveries in the field. The fourth one on this list is ethical considerations. Ethics is a very important in reviewing medical legal information. Keeping patient information private, respecting their choices, and protecting everyone's rights are crucial ethical duties, especially for a medical legal officer. If ethical rules are not followed, it can cause legal problems and make people lose trust in the field of medicine. In forensic medicine, it, it was mentioned that maintaining the highest ethical standard is a must. Using medical information in legal matters requires careful balance between seeking justice and protecting the patient's privacy. Following ethical guidelines and getting informed consent is very important to protect patients' rights and uphold ethical principles. Lastly, on the major issues is communication and legal impact. So, for this one is sharing information about medical and legal findings is really important in investigations. It is crucial to explain things clearly so that lawyers judges, and others, especially those who are not adept in the field of medicine, understand the important details. Finding the right balance between using technical terms and using jargons make it easy for everyone to understand, and it is also important because these details affect the legal decisions. Talking and working together are the basics for understanding medical and legal cases fully. Make sure that everyone 
um, the medical legal officer, the lawyers, or the police can talk openly about the medical details, legal issues, and what and what the person or the patient involved thinks is crucial. This helps in making fair decisions and assuring that the evaluation process is fair to everyone and that there will be no miscommunications that will happen during the process. Hello everyone, I am Bea Sumarpuri and I will be reporting about the mitigation strategies of medical legal reports. So medical legal issues play a crucial role in forensic science as they involve the intersection of medicine and law. Mitigation strategies are essential to address and prevent potential challenges in this field. So the mitigation of medical legal strategies are um, first adherence to ethical standards to ensure strict adherence to ethical standards and guidelines in both medical and legal practices, establish and promote a code of ethics for professionals working in forensic science. Second is the quality assurance and accreditation. Implement quality assurance programs and, and adhere to accreditation standards to maintain the highest standards in forensic laboratories. Regular review and update protocols and procedures to reflect the latest advancements in forensic science um, continue third is continuing education and training provide ongoing education and training for forensic professionals to keep them updated on the latest developments in both medical and legal fields foster interdisciplinary training to enhance collaboration between medical and legal experts and Interdisciplinary collaboration, encourage collaboration between forensic scientists, medical professionals, and legal experts to ensure a comprehensive understanding of both medical and legal as aspects. Establish interdisciplinary teams to work on complex cases, fostering communication and cooperation. Fifth, documentation and record keeping. Emphasize accurate and detailed documentation of all forensic examinations, findings, procedures, implement secure record-keeping systems to ensure the integrity and confidentiality of case information. Next is peer review and validation. Incorporate peer review processes to validate forensic findings and ensure their accuracy and reliability. Encourage independent validation of results by experts not directly involved in the case. The next is courtroom expertise to provide training to forensic experts on effective courtroom and courtroom communication and testimony. Foster the development of expertise in presenting complex scientific information in a manner understandable to legal professionals and juries um adoption of technology uh stay abreast of technological advancements in forensic science and integrate them into practice where appropriate implement digital solutions for evidence management analysis communication to enhance efficiency and accuracy Conflict of interest policies, establish and enforce policies to address conflicts of interest among forensic professionals, ensuring impartiality in their examinations and testimony. And lastly, legal reforms. Advocate for and participate in legal reforms that enhance the integration of forensic science in the legal system work towards the development of clear and standardized legal frameworks for handling forensic evidence. In conclusion, um, medical legal report are reports written by medical professionals who have been chosen as an expert witness in a legal case. When instructed by a client who has suffered from personal injury, disease, or medical negligence, a medical legal report is 
required to assess the client's claim. So medical legal reports are required in a variety of legal situations, but most commonly they are used when providing evidence in court. Um, some of these events are criminal court cases, civil court cases, employment tribunal, family court cases, personal injury or insurance cases, clinical negligence cases. Um, we also discussed the contents in medical legal report, which contains the patient's name, name, date of birth, requesting party's name, date of the request, and the purpose of the report. The credentials, uh, the credentials of the examiner, including professional address, qualifications, experience, and position, and medical facts, presentation, history, and, and symptoms, examination findings, investigation, provisional diagnosis, treatment and management current and its current conditions. It also contains the response to the patient's response to the questions, um, the examiner's opinion and the signature and date of the report. The errors in medical report in medical legal report um, include documentation errors, chain of custody issues, incomplete information, inaccurate information, consistency with literature. And the we also discussed the major issues in the evaluation of medical legal findings, which are uh, bias and objectivity, quality control and standardization, training and ed education, ethical considerations, and communication and legal impact. And lastly, we discussed the mitigation strategies of medical medical legal reports, which is adherence to ethical standards, quality assurance, to, and accreditation, continuing education and training, interdisciplinary collaboration, documentation and record keeping, peer review and validation, courtroom expertise, adoption of technology, conflict of interest policies, and legal reforms. That would be all. Thank you for listening.